Today we're going to run the WL Toys 144001 with the contact foam tires and my new 3D printed front wing and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Motors. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free, costs nothing to you, and smash that notification bell for more videos like this. All right, let's do our first 2S pass. All right, pass number one, let's go. Nice straight pass. Spun out a little bit on the top end. That was my fault. Go ahead. Bring it back here. See what we got here. Not bad, not bad. First pass we got. 48.4 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and do a second pass. All right, pass number two on 2S. Got on the brakes here. My new spoiler dried when I got on the brakes. Definitely expecting that with something brand new because I've never used a spoiler before. That one we got. 46.2. Let's go ahead and do a third and final pass on 2S. All right, third and final pass on 2S. Let's go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Go ahead and bring it back here. That little swerving was me, not the car. So on that pass, we got 46 even. Now the reason why we're not going as fast on 2S is because these tires aren't as big as the other ones. So let's go ahead and throw a 3S in here and see what we get. Alright, now we're going to do our first 3S pass. If you guys remember right, I kept spinning out because the tires were ballooning bad. And hopefully, doing these foam tires, we'll get it fixed. Okay, first pass on 3S. Spun out a little bit on top of him slowing down, but guess what guys? That was a full pass compared to what I've been doing. Let's see what we got here And on that pass we got 64.9 which is a new personal best 60 was my personal best on 3s. Let's go ahead and try that again All right pass number two on 3s Running out of the parking lot, so I'm getting on the brake hards on the top end, spinning it a little bit. But we are making full passes now, and that's what matters. That pass we got 62.1 miles per hour. Let's do our third and final pass. All right, let's do our third and final pass. Let's go. Oh, and there we go. I end up crashing on the third one. Looks like I lost a tire. That is not good. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got the body over here. And I tightened these wheels down before I came out. See right down there? Got the car in the wheel. I'll go get the GPS. Give me just a second here. All right, we end up crashing at about 37.8 miles per hour. Let's get it to a car and take a look at it. Well, guys, as you can see here, I lost my cross pin and the nut that goes across it. And I'm going to have to look in my bag. I don't know if I got another one in there or not. I do got pins and hexes and everything, but they're for one tenth scale, so I don't know if they're going to fit in there. But you can actually say... I blew the wheels off of it this time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm going to see if I can get this fixed up. If I can't get it fixed up, we'll be back inside and we'll go over the numbers. Well, now that we're back inside and all I got to say is, man, I really need to stop doing the last run. The first two speed runs I've done with this in 2021, the last one I have wrecked on both of them. That's okay though. So what happened here is, is the wheel nut did come off. I lost the wheel nut and the cross pin on it that goes into the wheel hex there unfortunately i don't have no more wheel nuts i got to go to the hobby store and pick some up i did have some cross pins to go in there 
So I couldn't finish out the video because I didn't have a wheel nut to put on it. But that's alright. We got enough in to get the info we needed. So on 2S we did uh, 48 miles per hour. And like I said during the video, basically these tires are shorter than the factory tires. So you're not going to get as much as the top speed on it. But where these tires did help was 3S. When we had the stock tires on it, they kept ballooning and I kept spinning out. So on 3S, I couldn't get a real good speed going on it. Now before, my personal best on 3S with those tires was 60 miles per hour. With these tires, we hit 64. Actually, 64.9. We almost hit 65 miles per hour with it. That is real great. I'm really proud of that. That is my new personal best. This is the fastest RC I own right now. So now that we got that all done, I got that 3900 kV motor in it. What I think I'm going to do when I put it back together, I still got the Surpass Hobbies brushless motor that I bought. And this one here, you can see right there, is 5900 kV motor. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go throw this in there and see what this does. They don't recommend running this on 3S, but guess what? You know me. I'm going to run it on 3S. We're going to see how that handles. We'll do a 2S pass first just to see where it is on 2S, and then we'll go ahead and try a 3S pass. As always, everything I use, I'll leave down below. If you guys like this front wing and want the file for it, I'll leave the file down below so you guys can download that, and you can make up your own wing on your 3D printer. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. On Facebook, I got an RC car group on there called RC Car Life. Come over and join in on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.